Alright, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening sa ating mga viewers right, Sa ating mga viewers from the Middle East right, So, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, UAE right, So, dito naman sa atin sa Pilipinas of course And uh, yung ating mga viewers as well sa Taiwan, Singapore no? and South Korea right? So, again, uh, this is PSEI recap and first quarter is almost uh, complete right? So, kamusta naman yung mga portfolio natin and uh right so again uh before we start right so we have you at a quick word from the sponsor as always uh weekly naman natin to ginagawa all right so this comes from revelations chapter 3 verse 8 and uh ito yung sinasabi dun, no? i know your works behold i have set before you an open door which is no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Alright, so, ano ba yung uh, kukuha natin dito sa verse na to? No? Alright, so, guys, again, uh, bakit may tatanong nyo, no? why do I keep on sharing itong mga verses na to? Alright, so, uh, kung baga, kung tutuusin, hindi ko naman din pinag-aralan to, no? Uh, I did not go to any Bible school or yung mga sinasabi natin ng mga school, no? But, uh, personally, kasi yung nangyari sa akin, I was looking for a uh, few verses, uh, reading ng ganito, and then, I, I finally understand, no? Uh, Alright, ito yung na-discover ko yung isang verse na ganito. Sabi ko, totoo to, eh. Nangyari to sa buhay ko, and then, I, I keep on searching and I keep on searching until I finally realize, no? Na all the while, no? Uh, siguro, pare-paras naman tayo ng religious background, alright? So, maatin ng simbahan or ng mga church, no? And then, hindi naman natin uh, masyadong naiintindihan yung mga sinasabi. But, uh, as you go along through life, no? Marami kang setbacks, failures, right? Marami kang mga plano na hindi natupad or mga problema sa buhay, right? So, doon mo nare-realize and doon mo mas naiintindihan, no? Kapag uh, yung, yung mundo mo, no? Madilim. Ang Bible para siyang nagdadala ng liwanag. So, I'd like to point out yung salita dito, no? The door which no one can shut, no? No one is able to shut, right? So, personally, ganun din yung nangyari sa akin. Uh, I kept on uh, pushing away, no? Y- yung word, although alam ko na this is the written uh, inspiration by our God. Uh, I kept on pushing away. Uh, probably, no? Sa sarili ko, I was a little scared of the truth. And, uh, minsan ganun eh. Ganun yung tao. Takot din sa totoo. Alright, so, uh, ibig ko lang sabihin dito, uh, so, bata pa lang ako hanggang sa nakagraduate ng trabaho. And then, saka ako naiintindihan finally kung ano yung sinasabi. And, I'm very, very thankful for our Lord for yung, yung pintuan, no? Sa Kanya, through Him, through Lord Jesus Christ, hindi niya isinara kahit sa akin. Kahit ako na mismo. Ako na mismo yung lumalayo. Ayaw kong intindihin yan. Ayaw kong basahin. Uh, I'm gonna go on through life. And uh, one of the things, no? Na talagang kinakatakot ko. And mostly nakikita ko sa mga tao and even no, sa family ko is yung coldness nila, no? O pagiging uh, parang isinasawalang bahala nila yung uh, Bible with all of its uh, beautiful messages and yung mga inspiring words, words of wisdom, uh, hindi nila pinupush through, no? Karamihan yun yung mga tao, they are very, very, uh, minsan, no? When you talk about the Bible, no? Or, or you, you open up the topic uh, about sa, uh, yun nga, sa salita niya, minsan parang magiging awkward pa sa mga tao. Right? So again, I hope it's not too late for you guys and to your family and uh, give it a li- give it a try, no? At least uh, basahin mo, right? So and I'll guarantee you, no? It will definitely change your life. It will definitely change your family's life, no? Mga anak mga kapatid or mga chuhin-chahin mo, even yung nanay, tatay mo. Right, so, the, 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 our Lord, no? He will not shut yung door na yan. 
and no one no one can shut yung pintuan na yan na patungo sa kanya right so guys i know it's a very very uh, ano no very very powerful message sa atin and i hope and i pray na talagang uh, you, you are already starting reading the bible kasi napakaganda ng mga mensahe and i would like to also no to point out no usually yung pagiging OFW uh, two way uh, sword yan no It could probably uh, pull you in sa kanya sa kanya salita or probably you could be a push away no syempre uh, of course everything is uh, doing well all right so marami kang pera you have a good job you have a nice car nice house healthy family all right so But one thing is for sure, you don't know kung ano yung pwede mangyari in the near future. But with all of the uncertainties, yung mga sudden events or emergencies na pwede mag-arise, is hindi natin alam. No? You don't know kung ano yung mangyayari for the next three months, six months, one year, five years dalong lalo. No? So again, uh, right now, at least, no, search out for the truth. And again, no, yung mga naririnig kong stories about uh, OFWs who are converting no, to other faith, especially sa Middle East. No? And uh, just for the personal advancement. Right? So, marami akong nabasang ganyan. And I hope, guys, no, na you, you do not name, you do not deny the name no, of our Lord Jesus Christ sa inyong uh, buhay. Right? So, again, Uh, to wrap it up guys uh, I want you to, to read the Bible no? search out for the truth habang okay pa ngayon lahat and okay lahat ng... because mahirap no mahirap kapag dyan yung mga emergencies sudden event no? and uh, maganda na ngayon pa lang malaman nyo na kung ano yung totoo yun. uh, guys read your Bible uh, hindi ako magsasawa na mag endorse sa inyo Alright? so medyo mahaba haba but I hope na talagang tumama sa inyo yung message and uh, right so again anything that I would say at this point in time uh, mere probabilities na lang no? so talagang kumbaga you could stop right now this yung pinakamahalagang bahagi ng video you already viewed alright and uh, mere probability na lang to Right, so I am not 100% sure sa mga sasabihin ko. Minsan sa pagkaganito pang condition, sa malamang sa hindi, uh, puro sablay pa. Right, so again, uh, I'd like you to point out, no, na we're very bullish, no. Last week, we're very bullish. If you would like to review yung video natin, because how it was close, no, last week, malakas. Right, for this week, We see now we we have lost 93 points, and we're right now no 7,920, and this was last Monday no, huge huge sell off. I think most of the leaders, in index name no, mga momentum names as well, ah uh, nag sell off sila no Monday, and I don't know no, laging Monday, uh, I think yung isip ng tao no, medyo talaga na iipon. Saturday Sunday. Very, very worried. And then, pagdating ng Monday, bentahan na. Alright, so, if you would like to remember, no, yung Black Monday na 1987 sa US, parang ganun, no. And, minsan, yung Monday naman, pagka bullish market, could go, again, on a different direction, no. Very bullish naman. So, again, uh, for this week, no, the five names na nag-stabilize ng ating PSEI index would be, no, AGI, no, and URC ICT RLC and MEG no all right so these are the names no na talagang kumbaga sa ano uh, you have to really really watch out because kapag ka may mga ganyang uh, negative news negative event na nag-impact sa ating market and most of the names na talagang kumbaga na stabilize siya or if not malakas pa rin yan yung mga dapat yung uh, baga sa ano, ilagay nyo na sa radar nyo, no? you keep on monitoring because once na nag-flip naman yan to reverse, no? 
we're in a bullish mode sila naman yung mabilis na mag advance so isa yun na yun sa mga karakteristik no ng uh, isang malakas na stocks alright so again last week big big ma- uh, sell off last Monday itong big drop ng candle na yan uh, and uh, right now no we are at least no makikita natin at least uh, 7 9 level malakas yung support And again, I'm going to counter most of the sentiment or yung mga view ng ating mga gurus which is a very very bearish, no? Some even claiming na babalik daw tayo sa 6.9 sa 6.9 level, no? And uh, sell off na daw. Which I do not think so, no? Uh, yun ang maganda sa market, no? Pwedeng mag-iba iba kayo ng uh, thinking. But uh, still, uh, pwede pa rin kayo maging uh, profitable. Kahit na magkaiba, depende na lang sa execution nyo. Alright. So again, for the short term, at least for the second quarter, uh, I'm still very bullish. No? Yun nga lang, at this point in time, alam naman natin dito sa Pilipinas with the Holy Week approaching. Right? So I think uh, two weeks from now, uh, medyo pa- pababa na yung liquidity. And if you still would like to uh, go on the market, at least be on the defensive side, medyo buwasan yung... Uh, yung bigat, no? Yung trading and uh, bumawi na lang, no? After yung break ng Holy Week. Because, paano ko ba nasabi na medyo bullish pa rin ako, no? Dito kasi itong candle na to, you know? This is a confirmation candle. And, for for this week, no? If we, kung makakuha pa tayo ng ganitong kalaking volume na turnover on the green side of the market, that's it, no? I think, I, it's safe to say, no? At least, 8,000, 8,000, maka marireach natin no and then decision point again kung babagsak or magpapatuloy yung ating uh, index no again i'll be countering most of the views ng ating mga gurus i'm still uh, bullish no sa ating market and pangita naman no D- during the sell off uh, last monday medyo matibay-tibay pa rin naman hindi dire-diretso right so this is caused by the US China trade war na talaga kumbaga sa ano in the talks pa no so medyo ganun talaga eh no there are foreign investors sa ating uh, market and medyo mabilis sila no nagre-react pag uh, mga ganyang high impact news Alright, so with that ano ba yung mga Alright, so ang ating move the week nga pala no ating move of the week Alright, this is a 30 minute chart no baka naniniwala kayo this is SOC, right? So, this is a very, very, uh, baga sa, ano, delikado sa mga new movies to. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, no? 50%, I think, no? No Monday. Uh, and this is a 30-minute chart. And, right, so, ako, personally, I'll be f- more than interested dito sa 0.95 no if it touches yung 0.95 ito yung SOC no for the coming weeks uh, I think tire diretso eh no alright so 0.95 ang magiging target ko would be around the breakout area of uh, 110, 112 itong area na to at least pagbaba sa 0.95 medyo magiging interesado na ako with that, with that being said uh, this Monday maglalagay ka na ba ng order sa 0.95 definitely not because yung 0.95 na yon, yun lang yung area na magiging interested ka but not necessarily na maglalagay ka ng order uh, maganda yun you just observe na lang muna no? kung how it will approach yung 0.95 kasi pag nabutas yung 0.95 pwedeng pwede yan na bumaba pa no? even sa 0.80 no? remember yung ano, yung Berjaya last time Bicor uh, tinagos niya pa no pababa yung sa kanyang uh, long time support. Right, so again, uh, 0.95 would be the price to watch, no? At least for me. At uh, doon ako medyo magdi-decide if I would uh, attack itong SOC, no? Again, there's nothing I think going on this stock. Wala namang fundamental news. Uh, wala din mga earnings. This is pure, pure technical uh, play. And uh, medyo, medyo bored, no? Medyo bored yung mga tao maraming naglilipara na 
kung tawagin na natin yung Spanish stock so kung sa atin sa PSEI ay tawagin is mga basura basura stock so again if you're not uh, skilled and you don't have the emotional capacity no kasi mabilis magano to eh mag reverse no uh, pwede kang ma-hit in one day na 15 20% loss even higher than that di ba so again if you're not skilled you have not uh, trained para sa mga ganitong play iwasan niyo muna to no and again uh, if you're a day trader as well uh may opportunity in to no i think so 0.95 itong so so again that is our move of the week and again no yung ating sentiment uh, again uh tuloy gan sinabi ko sa inyo kanina we're still on the positive side of the market at least for the short term no second quarter that would be uh, april may june and uh yun nga lang so tuloy na sinasabi ko holy week is approaching and we might have a uh, liquidity no especially next week So again, uh, ingat-ingat lang, medyo magbawas-bawas ng uh, ng uh, laki or yung position because uh, baka madali ka ng liquidity, no? Especially diyan sa mga penny stocks, mabilis na mawala ng liquidity diyan and you have to be defensive. Right? So again, uh, ano ba yung mga dapat nating bantayan, no? For the coming weeks, of course, these are the core leaders na dapat nating bantayan. We have yung URC. Alright, so URC, it's uh, becoming interesting, no? Especially, uh, you have yung uh, 155 area, no? 153 itong area na to. Pag sumampayan dyan, it definitely, definitely becomes interesting, no? Sa URC. So, nakikita na natin na next, next resistance would be around no near 164 area na halos. All right, so again, uh URC ano ba yung nakikita natin dito? Yung kanyang sugar deal with the Rojas, I think no, company. I think with the Antitrust Commission nag fall out na yan. So maganda naman dito sa URC. They are still looking for ways no on how they can uh tawag dito, they can uh, maximize no yung kanilang uh, production para gumanda rin naman kanilang earnings no. Right now, medyo malabo-labo pa yung price action. Hintayin muna natin no, this sumampa rito sa area na to before we could finally say na talagang magandang prospect yung URC no. Right now, very chaffy lang no. But uh, nagustuhan ko lang siya with the way he acted itong Monday. Hindi rin ganoon katindi yung binagsak niya. And uh, during the latter part of the week, nagtrend pa siyang pataas. Right? So again, That is our take for URC. Let's now move on sa isa pa, no? Sa ating mga nakita natin na to, no? Na talaga nag-trending. I think entering nung uh, since 2009, no? January. Uh, 2019, I mean. January, nag-trend na siya, no? Hindi nag-consolidate dito sa area na to. And then finally, shoot up. But right now, no? Decision time again, once again. We're seeing na 1630, 1650 area, no? area na to, we're seeing definitely battle na mangyayari dito sa area na to decision time and if successfully na matake out niya yung ano, I think it's uh, safe to say na it would trend no? at least na nakikita natin uh, yung 17 would be definitely be heated no? once ma- malagpasa niya yung uh, mini, mini resistance na naman 1630 to 1650 decision time for AGI no but i think no with the coming weeks baka mag-consolidate na lang muna siya diyan and it's currently forming a triangle and maaring uh maaring mag-consolidate muna no but let's see no let's see ma- matindi pa rin yung ano AGI because as you know way back 2017 nag-announce to ng buyback no and um we're finally seeing no na gumaga na yung stocks and uh, talaga kung baga sa ano nagte-trending na We're finally seeing yung effect ng buybacks niya continuously, no? And one of the stocks, no, that we should be watching as well is yung uh, FPH, no? Again, uh, nagustuhan ko rin yung kanyang price movement. It's currently in a box, no? There are box kung tawagin. And currently, uh, decision time din hinihintay natin do. Once it breaks yung 80 level, then definitely we could see, no? na talagang kumbaga sa ano malakas pa rin yung FH, FH, FP, 
pH, I mean, no? Volume is decreasing, but look at the price, no? Medyo nag-stabilize pa rin siya. And uh, right now, nasa uh, box pa rin siya, no? Uh, Nag-iipo ng lakas. And again, 80 would be a very, very critical level na once na break I think madulas to, no? Itong FPH, no? Ang, ang medyo, the downside of FPH would be yung liquidity as well, no? Uh, mi minsan, uh, nandiyan yung liquidity, minsan wala. So, again, with the way the market is uh, uh, acting, medyo, kumbaga, once uh, tumaas yan, medyo, uh, try to think, no? Of taking profits. But right now, uh, Ipon ng lakas, let's see kung ano yung magiging development na itong FPH. No? And again, isa pa sa mga nahuli natin since last week to. Alright, I told you guys that that is a multi-year multi -year, uh, resistance na na-break niya. And finally, no, I think we're, we're, we are 8 to 9% no? since na nakita natin ito last, uh, last week and it's finally uh, right now, no? So, 1.30 area na rin siya. And, maganda, no? Ang ganda ng break. Multi-year, multi-year resistance. Ang binasag ng ICT, dire-diretso siya. simpleng simple lang naman yung pag-analyze natin doon. Alright. Uh, what do we do with this ICT? At, at this point in time, yung 9, 8, 9% na tinaas niya, medyo mabilis na yan for these stocks na very, very big. And you might want to play it safe. No, no, no. At least, you should be interested or this should be interesting. At least, no, makita man na natin kahit pumulbak na. No? I think we, we are seeing a soft support dito sa uh, around 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3 area. Right? So, medyo extended na rin ngayon. And for those who have uh, already uh, have ICT, no, yung nakabili last week, consider unloading kahit paano, no? to secure the profits tapos pwesto na lang kapag ka bumaba alright, so again for for, for uh, no? this is very very good no? for TF trend following itong ICT, multi-year no? so again, isa pa sa mga dapat natin bantayan for this week, alright so, itong MAC no? again, this is the all time high no I think, tama ba? Uh, I, no, I think, uh, tumaas pa ito eh, no? Alright, it's not an all-time high pala. I think this is a 52. No? Itong level na ito. Itong 23 area. I, I remember, parang magpas pa dito sa level na ito eh. Dati na 2017. I think, nag-29 pa nga ito eh. No? If I remember it right, no? Uh, uh, do not quote me with that. Uh, MAC right now, uh, medyo, remember, right, no, nahuli natin to, doon sa ating isa sa mga chart quick session with this big, big volume that we see, eto yan, no, sabi natin, hindi pa natin alam kung ano yung ibig sabihin yan, and, uh, we finally did see, no, ang laki na nang nagay mo dyan, if you were able to catch this, no, mga ganyang formation for the last, I think, or 5 weeks, we have yung mga ganyang formation ay yung one day big volume diba? BLL PNBEEI MAC, no? Alright, so just by merely observing no, yung market weekly right? Taking those daily uh, nahuhuli at mahuhuli mo yan, no? Right now, again, medyo extended na movement and we want to see how it will react uh, level 23 right so the very best thing na mangyari at least dito mag uh, consolidate no pagdating doon para naman for another advance no MAC alam niyo naman to catering and right now they are venturing into the education side of the things ng business and let's see no again guys maraming salamat sa panonood uh, this is PSI recap uh, right so again uh, see you next week, right? So, maraming maraming salamat.